looking for a sign while working on a show about signs, well, that's it. Seymour's ice cream stopped selling its Nutty Buddies and other frozen treats in the early 2000s, but its Dorchester billboard still stands. A classic painted style that's seen a resurgence in recent years. And I think having hand painted work, people really thought it was refreshing, you know, instead of just constantly having digitally produced signs and, and artwork. Meredith Kasabian and Josh Luke are the wife and husband team behind Best Dressed Signs. Well, we try to take a lot of clues from the past and update it and make it bright and colorful and fun and exciting and contemporary. Luke started the business in his native California, inspiring the company's classy name by wearing secondhand suits on the job. Every sign kind of requires a different process. And working on brick here is, uh, you know, another process with different materials. This craft requires a special skill set and comes with its quirks. One of which the couple admits they didn't consider when they decided to keep the company name after moving back to the Boston area where Kasabian grew up. We often sign our work and S's are the hardest letter. There's two S's in signs already and then we added, what, three more. All right, here I go. But it turns out that Kasabian has an inherited advantage each time she picks up a paintbrush. My grandfather was a sign painter. So when I met Josh, I was like, whoa, I haven't met anybody that, that was what my grandfather did. I didn't know people still did that. It's a really neat thing that to see her painting and like, you know, like I, I can tell like somehow it's like natural to her. And I always say like sign painting is in, in her blood. Working together for more than a decade now, they've tapped into their shared talents to create about 300 signs so far. So what's it like working with your significant other? We can joke around with each other and kind of have fun and it makes it seem less like work. We like each other. I'm pretty great, yes, we do <laughs> like each other, yes. Yeah. Side by side, this pair conceptualizes, designs and creates eye-catching art. We really are really appreciative of all our clients who you know, sort of trust us to make something beautiful for them. They also bring other designers' work to life, like this logo inside the Boston Harbor Distillery. It's, it's cool to like take, if someone else has a vision, try to take that and, and transform it into like reality, like make it an actual thing that exists in the world. <laughs> the fact that regular people are seeing it in public art and they're appreciating it, that really feels good. Joan Aylward levels, sketches, paints, and shades her art onto walls inside and out. I don't use chalk. I use chalk markers, paint pens. The reason I like them is they're very opaque and they show up better than chalk. And they just look, they, you get a nice clean, clean line. I'm really good at lettering. Lettering is my jam. Aylward found her calling while working as a waitress. Most restaurants would have chalkboards and I was the one who just volunteered to do them. You know, I was having so much fun and I was getting a little bit of money. She did this for years, but couldn't see how to turn her talent into a full-time job until the restaurant she was working at closed. A coworker said to me, no, you're so good at this. You should do this everywhere. And I thought, okay, how? how? That would be amazing. How do I do that? And um, he said, you know what? Think of a business name. Go make some business cards, you have two weeks. So Chalk Boss <laughs> was born. Chalk Boss has now been working professionally as an artist for six years. Her name, an ode to both the format and city she loves. I thought just a nice, concise name, one word, Chalk Boss, one S. <laughs> Her moniker and signature style have quickly become a familiar fixture. People recognize my work even before they knew that I did it. And, and that's just, it's great. That recognition even led to a few appearances on the Food Network's Restaurant Impossible. It's a very real reality show. It's, it's really two days, it's really the budget. Uh, the people are real, the problems are real, and the help is real. So we're all there to help this family and get them back on their feet. Similar to the support Aylward got years ago, encouraging her to pursue her dream. 
if I didn't have those little pushes, we could be having a different conversation right now. I would probably be asking you, what would you like for lunch? Instead, the only orders Aylward is taking are for art. But I realized that I am good at this. It just feels so natural. I'm doing what I was meant to do. And it's amazing, it is amazing. I love it. <laughs> And back to the Seymour sign in Dorchester, it is still in good condition because it's been covered for years by another sign that fell off, revealing the old ice cream ad behind it. The original sign was hand painted decades ago by a business called Jim Did It Signed and Awnings in Woburn that's been in business since 1916.